Welcome back on my channel for another computer tip. And this time I don't want to look into Linux. This time we will watch and do something on Windows. So I've got here Windows 10, but I customize it a little bit so that it looks like Windows 11. And what I want to show you today is uh, Microsoft Power Toys. Um, so if you want to uh, get that, you go to the um, Microsoft Store. And in the Microsoft Store, you just search for Power Toys and you can install them for free. And after you've installed them, um, then you can use them. So you get two things into the status bar here. One is Power Toys Awake. Perhaps if you are a Mac user, you know um, Caffeine or something like that. So it's um, this tool just allows you to disable um, the um, sleep function or the power function of the computer for indefinitely or you can say okay I don't want uh, the computer to sleep for the next two hours one hour or 30 minutes and after that uh, the normal um, energy settings kick back in and uh, the system will get to sleep but it's an easy way um, to switch between the power settings so the other thing I want to show is the power tools um, toys itself. So you've got this nice dashboard where it is shown which of the power toys are activated and which are not activated. There's, um, I think I almost got the default configuration here in, in this uh, case. So, and um, what this uh, power toys do, uh, yeah, in in its own and especially every tool for its own i just want to show you so um the the tool itself has a quite good name so normally the title um this uh, yeah, describes very good what the um, toy will do and there's also a little description here and you can get additional information on the microsoft website and most of the toys have an activation key which most of the time has something to do with the Windows key and a modifier and then a, a normal key. And uh, yeah, you can do something like um, uh, pin a window uh, on top of everything else. So it will always be on top. Um, a rake I already explained is a, a toy that can keep the computer awake. There is a color picker from which you can pick um, colors from everywhere on the desktop. So that's one thing. Um, some of the power toys um, implement uh, things that are already in the system, like environment variables. You can um, use the normal uh, tool for that. But if you use um, the environment variable tool uh, that's in the power toys, it's much nicer. Um, uh, yeah, and you can um, uh, here look up uh, the configurations in a much nicer way and edit them. Um, and yeah, that's just some um, quality of life improvements in my opinion so but what for me is the most important thing in this whole power toys is the fancy zones um, power toy here you can um, implement or select a, a grid that you can then use to tile your windows in uh, in windows so um, i've got here a, um, a is a, a, a um, tiling that I've created for my own, uh, like you would um, have it, for example, in a tiling window manager under Linux. But uh, also here, the grid types are already pre-configured. So I've got this one active at the moment. And what I now can do, if I have a floating window, I can just use um, the Windows key and left and right and uh, use a normal tiling setup um, and but also if you double tap up, you have the normal um, yeah, Windows uh, func functionality where the uh, windows are snapping, that's still active. Um, but if I yet now uh, take the shift key, 
I can also snap in this uh, pre-configured sounds that I have, yeah, and that's really a nice thing. Unfortunately, there's no auto tiling at the moment with fancy zones, but there are many requests in the Microsoft forums that they implement that. That would be even better if, uh, yeah, if the tiling uh, would act like a normal um, auto tiler on Linux. Uh, this would be really great, but. Uh, here it's quite easy to do. You can just take shift and put the window where you want or with the windows key and left and right you can just switch the um, window like that. And of course uh, two times up you are in the um, normal snapping full screen and uh, um, F11 like for the browser the full screen also works with this. So yeah that's uh, in my opinion one of the best uh, toys that they've got in this uh, collection then but also a very good toy is um, he here um, you've got a shell extension which can tell you which application hinders a file to be copied or a, a folder to be accessed and it's called a file locksmith and uh, so Windows will tell you if you perhaps have done something like you want to uh, cut a file and paste it somewhere else. And he tells you, hey, I can't access this file. Um, with this tool, you can see which process is uh, keeping Windows from copying and so on. It's really a nice addition. Um, yeah, then here are some file um, explorer add-ons. That's, um, for example, one thing. Um, it's like this quick look ability uh, that you've got in um, uh, in macOS. So um, also, where is it? Screen ruler, text. Mm, I don't know. I think it's this one. So um, you can then um, uh, preview uh, files. Um, yeah, you know, preview pane and they now understand much more files and can preview much more files uh, with this toy. Host file editor is for the hosts file. So um, you can easily configure your hosts file in this editor. I can just open it. It's a normal um, host, yeah, uh, host datei. And uh, if you want to edit it, now you have a little um, GUI for doing that. Um, image resizer does uh, what it says. Uh, keyboard manager I don't use. I don't know what that is. Uh, can remap keys. Okay, so mouse utility I also don't use. But here you can have, uh, if you are a presenter, for example, um, you can use um, this functionality in the whole Windows system so that you can highlight your pointer. Uh, mouse without borders is that you can uh, do not have to um, move the mouse between um, uh, between monitors, but you can just um, jump between the monitors and the mouse will stay at the exact location from the monitor where you jumped from. So you don't have to um, move the mouse between borders. You can just uh, jump and teleport to the same um, uh, position. It's also quite nice thing, but uh, as I only have one monitor, I don't use that one. Another nice addition is uh, the hotkey is a little bit uh, crumpy, but I still use the normal hotkey for that. Um, you press uh, Windows, Control, Alt, and V. And um, why does he not do it at the moment? We have something wrong. Windows Control Alt. Hmm. So it doesn't work at the moment, but I don't know why. Normally it works. Hmm. So that's a, a thing. Uh, yeah, as I said, normally it works for me, but I don't know why it now doesn't uh, do its thing. 
Um, this is a quite nice addition. Normally, you can just um, ah, it's because I don't have uh, formatted text at the moment. So um, let's see. Yeah, so I can just tell you what it does. So um, I I don't have anything in my clipboard at the moment. So the problem is if you collect formatted text somewhere in the system and then, for example, want to paste it in. Uh, for example, Teams is a good example. And you every time if you paste normal with a normal paste um, into Teams, you get the whole formatting of the text that you've copied. For example, if you have copied it from, um, let's say, uh, a website, and if you then paste the uh, copied text with this hotkey, then you will get um, the um, plain text uh, inserted into into the um, yeah wherever you want to insert it so ah here this is it a uh, peak peak is just control space um so and um and then it can open any file um i don't have a picture for example at the moment here so but but um peak is uh, uh yeah exactly the same like the quick, quick log uh, function that macOS has. So it, it can open almost any file and just give you a quick uh, preview of the file. That's really nice. Power rename for renaming um, from search and replace with also regular uh, expressions. The power toys run is a nice addition. You just press alt space and got here this um, prompt. It's also like the, the, a little bit like the spotlight prompt that you perhaps know from macOS. And if I, for example, here uh, type the first words, uh, he gives me a starter. So I don't have to use the um, uh, uh, power here's the windows uh, start menu i can just uh, start here from from this prompt um yeah so quick accent i didn't know that one i didn't use um yeah that's uh if you are in a language that use the accents you can just um, select them by this quick menu a uh, registry preview for uh, uh, gui based rec edit Screen ruler is a nice addition. So um, Windows, Shift, and M. Uh, so he starts uh, here, here a little uh, tool, and now I can um, measure things. But he also got this auto ruler where he tries to um, select things uh, on the screen and he gives me the exact pixels um, of that uh, yeah things he detects so it's quite a nice thing you can also do it here um, uh, the other way around and he will give you uh, the pixels between things on your monitor and it works really well to measure distances um, if you have for example pictures or anything you want to measure on your system um i hear here you can't do it um, if you have some um gradients then he uh, will not snap very well but if you have got um single color um columns here or something or windows he will snap very good to it and also he does this um by type if you have the x uh, running so the other thing is here the shortcut guide and uh, that's also a nice addition. Um, let's see. Ah, the problem is I uh, for you I um, set uh, my keyboard layout to English and I uh, always have to guess uh, what the right keys are now. Um, um, so uh, here he shows you the normal uh, windows um uh, shortcuts and uh, if you don't know you can also with windows key one to zero start applications from the taskbar for yourself and also here are some other nice things that you perhaps uh, didn't know uh, like here the virtual desktop uh, things and so on um, it's just a nice overview to um to see um 
Text Extractor, that's another great tool. Um, if you do Windows, Shift and T. And then you can select the language and here you can now select anything on the screen. And he tries to um, yeah, read what's uh, standing there. So you don't have to select, you just um, take anything on the screen. Uh, sometimes it even works on handwritten texts or uh, for another thing, if, if you have a picture from which you can't um, copy the text, then with this tool you can do it and um, yeah, it works really well. In my opinion, you can, uh, even if you've got websites or a PDF or something where you can't um, copy from, with the text extractor you can. Um, that's really nice. And here for the uh, working um, users that are doing um, working from home on the system, for example, um, video conference mood, mute. Uh, I don't have that on because I don't do conferences on my system. I just game on it and record this uh, uh, small videos here for my channel. But here you can disable camera and microphone on a um, system level. So um, then you've get some hotkeys that are totally indifferent from the tools that you're using. Like if you're using Teams, for example, and if you press this hotkey, then it will totally shut down um, the things uh, that you selected here. And um, yeah, that's really a nice thing to have. Um, if you want to use it, you can activate it. So. For me, Fancy Zones is uh, the best thing in this collection, but um, also Peak is a great addition and the Run tool is also a great addition. Like Alt Space and you just type and, and can start your applications from here. It's really a nice addition to the normal Windows behavior. And uh, yeah, perhaps if you didn't know um, about this uh, free software that Microsoft provides, in my opinion, it's a great addition for Windows and you should definitely um, install it on, on your system. It's free and uh, these are some great tools to use, in my opinion. Yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, have fun with uh, Windows tiling and, and everything else. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, bye.